Today I'm going to answer some questions on my YouTube channel. Someone wanted to know, can a product with dextrose still be classified as keto? And the answer is, technically, maybe. It really depends on how much dextrose. Preferably, you want carbohydrates that are low glycemic, which means they don't create a huge spike in your blood sugars. Now, the essence of what makes keto, keto, is the low carb. The carbs need to be below 50 grams or less per day. And then what's left is moderate protein and high fat. If the fat's high, if your protein is moderate and your carbs are high, that is not keto. So to really be keto, it has to be low carb. Preferably below 30 grams per day, but it can go up as high as 50 grams. As your carbs become higher and higher above 50 grams, you're gonna have less and less ketones. So what you're doing is you're depriving your body of carbohydrates, so then it's forced to burn fat and make ketones out of fat. Now, a carbohydrate is a term to describe fiber, sugar, and starch. Now, let's take a bagel, for example. One bagel is 50 grams of carbohydrate, and a bagel only has two grams of fiber. So when you don't have enough fiber, you don't have that buffer for that blood sugar spike. So the lower amount of fiber, the higher the glycemic index. And then in a bagel, you have seven grams of sugar. I consider that on the high side. If you're gonna consume something, you probably wanna keep it two grams of sugar or less. But seven grams of sugar, pretty high for one bagel. Now the question is, what is left? What's left is starch. And what a starch is, it's these string of glucose molecules stuffed together. And so in the body, it's gonna break down and it's gonna then spike your blood sugars. And there's some other variables as well, which I don't wanna get into in this video. I'll put a link down below uh, for that video. But for example, if you were to eat a raw potato, it, a lot of it's starch, it won't affect your blood sugars because it's not heated. Like if you're gonna consume a potato chip or a French fry or cooked potatoes as in mashed potatoes. The heat breaks down the enzymes, which make these glucose molecules very available. So when you eat them, you're gonna really spike your blood sugars. Now recently, there are so many people coming out with so-called keto-friendly uh, foods, um, desserts that are really not keto-friendly. So here are some ingredients you'd want to avoid if you see these in the keto-friendly foods. Dextrose maltodextrin, dextrin, IMO, that stands for isomaltooligosaccharides. At one time, I thought that was keto-friendly, but I found some data that show that it's not very keto-friendly. I did a video on it. I'll put the link down below. Corn syrup, sugar, raw sugar. Sometimes people think because it's raw, it's keto-friendly. No, that's not true. Tapioca, not keto-friendly. Fructose, coconut sugar, agave nectar, honey, maple syrup, molasses, all of those are not keto friendly. And of course, avoid pasta, bread, grains, fruit, unless they're berries in certain quantities, corn, and potato. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.